Welcome everyone, to this brand new easy to understand Python tutorial series. If you don't know anything about programming, then this is right place to start. This is the first video of the series. So I'll give introduction of Python in this video, and at the end of video, we will run our first program. So stay tuned with us till end. Let's start the video. The first question came to anyone's mind is, what is Python? Python is a popular programming language. It is a high-level language. High-level means, if you know English, you can easily read it with little knowledge of programming. Another question that arises, why Python was built? If there are many other languages like C. To answer this question I have to tell you a very brief history of Python. Python was created in 1990 by Guido Van Rossum. In those times, programming is very difficult due to less readability of programming language. To keep this in mind, Guido started working on Python. His major focus was to design an easy-to-use language with a very high focus on readability of code. So why would you want to choose Python? As I mentioned, Python was designed for clear, logical code that is easy to read and easy to learn. Other programming languages use braces in brackets that can make code convoluted, and maybe hard to read. But Python makes use of something called whitespace and indentation. That we'll learn about later on in this series that makes its code very accessible. Even if you don't know Python, you can usually read Python without knowing the real syntax behind it. That's how readable it is. Okay, so what can you actually do with Python? After taking this tutorial series, you can able to build web application by using Python. And also able to automate the simple task like automatically search for files and then edit them, scrape information from a website, automatically read and write Excel files, work with PDFs. It can even automate emails and text messages and fill out forms for you. Python is very popular in machine learning and data science, so you can able to learn them. The list goes on and on. You can able to see the potential of Python. Now, we'll run our first program in Python. So let's jump into the command window. Type Python in command terminal and press enter. It will initiate the Python terminal. Where you will run your Python programs. If you see an error, then probably Python is not installed on your system. I have already done a video on the installation of Python. Go check that video first. Link is in the description. Now, back to our discussion. Our first program prints a greeting message to the screen. To print or show output to screen Python uses, print function. Inside the parenthesis, we will place, hello nucleus. Now hit the enter. You can see the output in the next line. Now, you can change the message inside the parentheses to hello Alex, nice to meet you. And, execute this command. You can see the output. One thing you have noticed that, I'm using double quote outside the message. This is because we are printing string. In Python strings are used with, single and double quote outside them. We will see more about them later in the course. For now, just do experiment with your code by changing the message inside the parenthesis, and get familiar with the print function. From next lecture, I'll give you homework assignments. So be prepared for that. Thanks. See you guys in the next video.